I didn't touch a racket in six weeks. I haven't recorded anything in a really long time. You guys probably didn't notice if you're a regular viewer of my channel because videos have been coming out as regularly scheduled because I always record well in advance. But the reason why I took a break from tennis is that sadly my dad has passed away after a four year battle with lung cancer. And look guys, I didn't make this video for condolences. This is very much a private matter that my family and I are grieving and we're very saddened but it's lost but the reason why I want to make this video is that you probably don't know but my dad was not only my tennis coach he taught me how to play tennis he also taught me how to teach tennis and he's been a tennis coach his whole life and he's not just any regular tennis coach in my opinion he's the greatest coach that I've ever seen on the tennis course and I'm going to use today's video to tell you a little bit about him. So we're from Split, Croatia, a beautiful city on the Dalmatian coast and my dad grew up in a house that was right next to a tennis club split one of the greatest clubs not only in Croatia but maybe in the whole world because that club has produced so many great players actually produced three top 10 players Niki Pilic, Goran Ivanisevic and Mario Ancic all came from that club and naturally since my dad grew up right across the street from this club he started playing tennis very young but also started teaching very young even though he got an economics degree at the University of Split he really fell in love with being a tennis coach so at 18 years old he started teaching full-time and he quickly became the head coach at tennis club Split now this is going back uh, to the early 80s however since the economic situation uh, back then it was still Yugoslavia it wasn't Croatia yet it was very hard uh, to make a good living being a tennis coach so naturally a lot of coaches from the Yugoslavia area would go uh, to Germany for example to teach there and that's exactly what my dad did he first went to Austria and then later on to Germany and when I was nine years old he actually moved our whole family to Germany and the place we ended up moving to in Germany it was a place called Ahaus which is in uh, North Rhine-Westphalia just like North West Germany and he took a club called Teitze Grünweiss Ahaus and he really developed a great program there we had uh, really good junior players we had a really thriving adult program and he was the coach there for over 30 years so let me tell you about how he was as a coach his methodology was just very similar to my methodology which is called intuitive tennis so my dad was someone who really focused on the mental part of the game he was also someone who focused on hard work and on intensity yes he was a coach who would teach all his students fundamental elements of the game but if you are on the court with my dad after a half an hour you'll be completely exhausted this was something that I always treasured when I trained with him that we didn't train many hours in a day we would sometimes train before school at 6 a.m. in the morning but a half an hour or 45 minutes was more than enough because we would get such high intensity at a short amount of time and I have not met anyone who was able to work me as hard as he did another really important quality my dad had as a coach was his ability to read 
his players. And this is something that's often overlooked because as a coach, you have to be able to read a player, to look at your player and be able to figure out how they're feeling and help them accordingly. I will never forget that my dad would be able to tell what the score was in my matches simply by looking at me. He would look at my body language, he would look at my facial expressions, and he would exactly know whether I was winning or losing. Also, when a new player would come to him and they would do the handshake, he could often tell just by the handshake whether uh, this person was going to be a good tennis player or not. Another thing my dad was phenomenal at was communication. He was able to bring the message across to his students, but not only that, the message was brought across in a very simple way so that even a five-year-old can understand it. This is a very important thing about coaching tennis is having the ability to communicate the message across in a simple way so it's easy to grasp. And my dad was also very charismatic and had a great sense of humor. This is also something that's often overlooked when it comes to tennis coaching because I think a charismatic coach can bring a lot more people into the sport and also humor helps the students uh, to have more fun while they're playing tennis. And now we get to the important part, which is my dad's teaching methodology, which is very similar to intuitive tennis. And I'll tell you uh, the whole story. But first, let me tell you about coaches where I come from, which is Croatia. It's a very small country of 4.5 million people, but yet we have a lot of great athletes, and especially the city of Split has a lot of incredibly great athletes. So you ask yourself, how is that possible? Well, it's possible because there's a lot of great coaches and I don't want to single out Croatia all the countries in the former Yugoslavia Serbia Bosnia and even Slovenia have really great tennis coaches and one thing about coaches from that area is that they're very focused on the mental part of the players that they're coaching and they're also very focused when it comes to tennis in two things which is intensity and consistency and when I was training with my dad consistency was maybe the most important thing he would get very angry when I wasn't consistent, which is another very important thing that I wasn't getting positive feedback for him when I was doing poorly. I was getting very negative feedback from him when I was missing a lot, but I would get very positive feedback when I was doing well. So consistency was something that was hugely important, but not only that, there had to be an enormous amount of intensity. If I didn't possess the correct intensity when I was training with him, uh, he would let me know it. Well, how about technique? Well, technique is a huge part of tennis, and this is what my dad was really good at because he would teach the fundamentals to all his students. But the interesting thing was that he also allowed his students to develop their own style, so they didn't force any type of specific techniques onto his students. He would teach the fundamentals, and then in time, as the students progress, he would teach technique less and less. And one thing that I'm very grateful for is that my dad uh, put me on the court as a coach at 13 years old. That's why I have 30 years of experience, even though I'm still relatively young at 43 years old. And it wasn't just group lessons. I was actually teaching private lessons to adults at 13 years old. But then I decided to play college tennis. I went off to the United States and immediately after finishing college tennis, I started working as a pro in the United States. I got married and I had a daughter and I started training my daughter uh, very young and then of course we would go back to Europe and then I would train my daughter in Europe as well and one funny story was that one time I was training my daughter in Germany and my dad was watching the lesson and I was teaching my daughter pronation and I was teaching her a wrist lag all just really the deep technical aspects that are very common among American coaches and my dad when he heard me say those things pronation and wrist lag, he flipped out and told me, why are you telling her these things? She is six years old, she doesn't understand what you're talking about, don't even bring up uh, those terms. And I didn't like hearing that, so I started fighting with him. I very much back then believed that I should be teaching those things. But then seven years ago, I started doing some deep technical research on tennis because some of the things that I was teaching uh, didn't make a lot of sense to me. I wasn't really too happy about some of my teaching methods. So I really wanted to know everything there is to know about technique and I started studying the greatest players of all time. And through this research I was able to establish fundamental technical elements that all of the greatest of all time have in common. But not only that, I was also studying my own game and I was studying the high level players that I was coaching in the United States. And the fascinating thing was that all high level tennis players have certain 
technical elements in common. There are also intuitive technical elements of all strokes that players are not aware of. And I really wanted to get the answer to why this is the case. And this is why it was very helpful that I uh, play tennis at a high level myself. And I was able to establish through this research that fundamentals need to be in place. But interestingly, intuitive technical elements will take care of themselves. In other words, the players never have to think about these things. And that's exactly why my dad was telling me uh, not to tell my daughter anything about pronation, anything about the wrist leg, because those things were going to naturally develop if she learns the right fundamentals. So I guess the big difference between my coaching methodology and my dad's is that he just knew all this stuff by feel. It just made sense to him. He just didn't really know the reason behind why someone shouldn't practice pronation or the wrist lag or many of the other things that are commonly thought. It was just common sense to him. But in my methodology, I wanted to know the exact reason why. And this is why I did all the research and I have the data to back up my claims that certain technical elements will take place intuitively. So my coaching career really uh, was a big circle. I started teaching uh, the intuitive way just like my dad did but then once I came to the United States I became a little bit more technical and then once I started doing my research I went back to my dad's way of coaching. So guys it's a really tough time for me. It's a big loss but my dad would want me to go on. He was a huge fan of intuitive tennis. We talked on a daily basis. He watched all my videos so it would be his biggest wish for me to continue. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep making videos. I'm going to make my dad proud. I'm going to teach our way of tennis, which I think is a really beautiful way to teach the game because we don't want robots. We want to allow the players to develop some individuality, maybe the way it was back in the day when players had all these different types of styles. So thank you guys so much for listening. It was really important for me that you get to know my dad a little bit. But before I go, I want to do one more thing. 